10 year anniversary of the collateral murder video that Julian Assange and Chelsea Manning so bravely revealed to us 10 years ago, showing that the American military is murdering children and civilians and journalists in Iraq. Guys, we did it 10 years, 10 years. Cue up, cue up the celebratory graphics. Is there, do we have, we don't, we don't have uh, celebratory graphics to be excited about the collateral murder video uh yeah it's it's the 10 year 10 years ago julian assange and chelsea manning revealed to us that the american military was firing upon civilians children and journalists in a uh, non-active war zone uh in iraq um and it's a pretty chilling video if you have not seen it i have seen it numerous times I've seen the other footage that has been released as well. Um, it's fucking heartbreaking. It's uh, horrific. And uh, all those people have uh, not been committed of war crimes. Julian Assange, on the other hand, is still in Belmarsh prison during a fucking global pandemic. A guy that, that has a bunch of health problems because he was cooped up in the Ecuadorian embassy spied on constantly, had no level of privacy for seven years, has depression, has uh, a, a, a cardiac condition, has dental problems, is immunocompromised, is in a prison after he has served out his time. Why? Because America said so. Because he revealed the war crimes of the elites. He revealed that America was committing war crimes. He revealed that globally speaking, all of the elites have been committing corporate crimes. That, that they've been exploiting a bunch of people and they knew that they were exploiting a bunch of people and they they were that's kind of what they said <laughs> where what what the what he did what he revealed this has become the iconic thing that has come out of um, the the war in Iraq is that we were doing stuff like this that America was doing stuff like this right and and where that specific shooting happened was not part of a war zone it was a it was like a suburban neighborhood it would be like if troops showed up here and started firing on all the old biddies that walk around my parents apartment and then basically we're just like oh collateral damage collateral damage it's not a big deal guys don't worry about it that's just kind of the shit that happens you know that's just kind of the shit that happens what why were those old women there they shouldn't have been there. Didn't they know that if they set foot outside their house that an Apache helicopter could just fire upon them randomly? That's just what, what's just what happens? We're in a war, okay, constantly, all the time, because, because we're going to say terrorism and maybe Russia. The defense is, and that's exactly what the defense is, too. The defense is basically that, uh, that this, is, this is part of war. This is part of the rules of engagement. Uh, which is funny. It's just I just I just never realized that the rules of engagement involved murder. Um, that's just you know goofy old me. Didn't fucking get that. And they came out and they were like, "Listen, this is just one part of the story. You are not getting the full picture." And they are absolutely right, you guys. We are not getting the full picture because the children that are murdered uh, by the American troops will never get to tell their part of the story. So in that, there you go. I didn't think it was going to happen, but here we are. I'm agreeing with the American military right there. We are not getting the full story because the people that the American military murdered will uh, will never get to tell their side of the story. And this wasn't an isolated incident. That was, that was the other thing that we um, that we saw, right? Like, is is this happened everywhere? Uh, the collateral murder video specifically. Um, you know what it shows is people trying to escape they were trying to run and they were trying to like cover each other up so that uh parents were covering their children and there and then there was like a rescue attempt um where there was a van and then they fired in the van uh and the the, the current editor-in-chief of of wikileaks spoke out uh and and gave some details the Apache has hollow point bullets that are big enough that they can like bust through a tank. And the hollow point too is when they make contact with something, they they explode, they break apart. 
that's that's supposed to be used on that's like high uh like it's supposed like heavy duty combat is what it's supposed to be used for and uh and they were using that on civilians uh there was another uh, video that where hellfire missiles were used in a civilian neighborhood like they can see a person walking across and they still fired the missile um destroyed the apartment and there's people that like describe having to carry their loved ones bodies out all these people are not in prison all these people get to walk free they're awarded medals they're they're claimed to be you know heroes um and the person that revealed this to us that the american military was ordered and did fire upon civilians and journalists and kids and is just calling them collateral damage and is excusing the death of these people uh, julian assange is in prison chelsea manning was in prison she got out thank god um she but and and you know even that that was kind of great in in the sense of uh she was fined she was fined like a thousand dollars a day and they basically wanted to wanted them to uh wanted chelsea to to say that she was coerced by julian assange and forced into uh revealing the uh footage and she kept saying no i i wanted to reveal it because i thought it was wrong and she she stood for what she believed in and they punished her for it by keeping her in prison um and then charging her a fee and then we had a gofundme right like like they set up a gofundme and people donated to it and uh and she and basically were able to pay off that fee the prison fee so that's cool we came together in solidarity and fucking helped out a, a real hero uh and you know the people that reveal these crimes go to prison the people that commit these crimes uh get medals of honor <laughs> that's 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 what 10 years has revealed to us um 10 years has basically revealed that the uh the justice system under an empire is unjust uh, and if you're going to get, if you're going to scream fascism, 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 it's been here. It's just masked itself as a democracy. And, uh, and we can fight back against it. And we are. The people that support Julian Assange, the people that stand up for the fight, the people that support Edward Snowden and Chelsea Manning and Danny Ever Everett Hale and Reality Winner and uh, Daniel Ellsberg and all of the whistleblowers that have come out. The people that support them, stand in solidarity with them, um, call them heroes. We're fighting back against that. This is what we're doing. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed this content, please give it a like and a subscribe and a share. Share it out with your friends, your enemies, whoever you think would enjoy content like this. I'm going to be putting out videos like this every single day so make sure you are subscribed to the channel uh, and make sure you hit that bell so you get all the alerts from all the videos that i put out there uh and uh and if you if you have the means to uh please consider making a, a donation i know we are all in tough times but if you if you can uh you can become a sustaining member or make a one-time donation at ramennoodlescomedy.com slash donate. You can check out various different ways of becoming a sustaining member or just make a one-time donation. Uh, while you're on my website, you can also check out all of my past comedy albums, which are available on all of your favorite streaming and um, downloading websites, if that's, that's, if that's a way that you can you say that. Uh, <laughs> but they're also available on Bandcamp, which uh, right now is giving the most back to artists. Uh, but also on my Bandcamp, they are all available for a pay what you want if you would like to enjoy some live stand-up comedy albums from me and you don't have the means if you're in tough times that's totally fine you can download it for free go ahead and get it for free and enjoy it uh or if you do and if you want somebody else to enjoy it you can get it to them as a gift uh that's also a, a recommended thing uh but most importantly thank you guys for tuning into this video 
Um, thank you guys for, for all the people that have already donated, that have already become patrons. I really appreciate it. You guys are amazing. And uh, until the next video, we'll see you on the road. Thank you, guys.